Welcome, welcome. Winner's quarterfinals, Pool A1, King Arc. Um, Mega Man versus Sinai Zenkai. Um, yeah, this is a really YouTube. interesting matchup, I feel like, because a lot of one of the big obstacles that Mewtwo really has to overcome in this game is just the fact that he's so goddamn Wow! Um, Already an SD from Zenkai. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how Zenkai kind of weaves his way around these projectiles, because he's not really... Uh, he can't really dash through them like Joker or Inkling might be able to. He can't crouch under them like some of the characters are able to. So it's interesting to see how people who play these characters that are, are really huge are able to still kind of use their movement to get around these sorts of projectiles. Right uh, now, I feel like Zenkai is testing out a few things right now, trying to go for a dash attack, but it's not working. It seems like Nair for him is working pretty well. Yeah, but. and I really love that wait after the tech to just... Uh, Confirm off the tech in place and just get a grab. I thought that mm. was really, really clever. That one right there. Did you see that when um, they both shielded for the um, the bomb? Yeah. Um, yeah. No. It's it's really interesting to see Zenkai's sort of like ability to kind of convert off these really interesting situations where someone lands right in front of him, especially with Disable, which I found very impressive. Yeah. A move that I think a lot of people kind of overlook. Zenkai is able to regularly hit on some of the best players in this region uh, with astonishing consistency. But right now, off to kind of a rough start. And interesting, it's it stuck to his tail. Um, yeah, I mean, King Arc really sort of in a dominant position. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, I love seeing the projectile floating with. Um, oh Mewtwo yeah, he's never grabbing. noticed it's that. So he just cool. holds it like with yeah. his mind. He's That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. No, I actually I love what they did with like YouTube's animations. Oh, oh wow! My God. And there goes Zenkai. Rough game one. Yeah, with an SD in the beginning and then a really like a spike at like sixty. Yeah. 40? No, definitely some some upsetting rough. Uh, an upsetting rough turn of events in a couple of those situations there. Um, it, it looks like we're going to be going to town and town city. And How do you city. feel about this pick? Town and city. It's always like a... It's, town and city is so big and has so many platforms. Um, which I, I personally think town and city is really good for zoners. But uh, Zenkai is really good with mobility, especially with Mewtwo. So it'll be interesting to see how he moves around the stage with. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think that's a definitely an on-target evaluation. It is such a huge stage, and there's really so much space. Uh, but yeah, it's not what I'd expect from Mewtwo. But like, obviously, I, I'm not an expert in Mewtwo, and Zenkai is, I think, one of precious few Mewtwo experts really in the world. So I mean, I'll, I'll take his word for it that this is the stage to pick. Uh, Man, very interesting use of. I think it's called confusion. The side B, the I reflector. Think so I thought. Oh yeah. Disable. Disable. Um, I thought that was the down B. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Interesting use of confusion, uh, which I, I guess is very important. But it's interesting because it's in these micro situations where Mega Man could throw out any projectile, and you'll lose out if he throws out just like a jab or a forward tilt, the lemons. Uh, but you'll win big if, if he throws out a, a like a. Like an F-Smash. Metal Blade. Yeah, or an F-Smash. Um, F-Smash, Metal Blade. Like, ah, uh, okay. So it's interesting that, that Zenkai is kind of able to have the confidence of knowing when he's sort of looking for, like, a big projectile that's worth reflecting and when he's not. Mm -hmm. Wow. What but, a conversion yeah. there. <laughs> I blinked and it happened. Yeah. And, and what a strange set of moves <laughs> that he linked mm -hmm. together into that forward air. So definitely in this match, Zenkai is usually more confusion which um, he didn't really utilize in the first match, but now it's he's slowly like getting conversions out of it for like, whether it be the Metal Blade to Confusion and then he could go for either a grab or a, down or a dash attack. Yeah, and I think it gets back to what you were saying earlier about the stage and how there's so much more space, is that mm -hmm. I think that Zenkai is finding himself at reactable range to Mega Man's projectiles a lot more. So like at, at this range, it's much easier for him to do Confusion on reaction to projectile, whereas on FD, it's much harder to do that. Oh, wow. Interesting weight on the spot dodge with the mm -hmm. charge down smash. It doesn't quite get him the kill, but he manages to get away somewhere what unscathed. Right. And honestly, um, you know, the last game, I think, obviously, there was an unfortunate SC in the beginning, and King Ark, I think, was very much able to run away with it, but this one is very close, and I think yeah, Zenkai absolutely. Is, yeah, doing a really good job here. Now, am I correct in thinking that that down B 
doesn't work unless you're facing Mewtwo? I think so, yeah. Yeah, right? That's a thing. Yeah, so it's interesting that um, King Arc I, I might be intentionally sort of facing away at the ledge because he knows that it's something that Zenkai likes to go for. So. Oh, and Zenkai falls into um, King Arc's up smash. Um, still a pretty even game because, um, as you've seen in previous sets, see, in the previous match and other stocks, um, King Arc is very good at building up percentages. Oh my god! But what that F is, smash? Yeah, that was a really, really good F smash on Zenkai. Yeah. So the set count, 1-1. One, one. I think it's so interesting that it, it really feels like every time King Arc chooses to tech in place, Zenkai has that on lockdown. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really interesting. Uh, and I wonder if Zenkai chooses to cover that option over others like a lot, if that's something that he, the kind of his default option, or if that's something that he knows about King Arc that he kind of favors it's that true. option. true. Uh, it's pretty interesting, but I mean, it's, it's he's gotten a lot of mileage off of tech chases, and Mewtwo really has a lot of moves that allow you to kind of get those tech chases where you end up very close to your opponent, which is always a strong thing to have. Wow, going for the down air early. Zenkai looking to make a statement, but good DI from King Arc didn't get him out of that. Yeah, I, I really love Mewtwo in this game. I think he's so cool. I love how he looks. I love how his moves sound and stuff. He's just mm -hmm. so cool. And it's so exciting that uh, he's a relatively rare character in most of the game. It's so exciting that in this region we have someone like Zenkai who's really like playing the character a lot like at the highest level. They really get to see him, mm -hmm. which I think is so fun because he's such a cool character. Yeah, and there isn't a lot of representation for Mewtwo. So Zenkai is like what people would look for. Yeah. Like for if they want to learn Mewtwo, Zenkai is who you would actually learn from. Definitely, yeah. Like if you say that you you're picking up Mewtwo, I think one of the first things people will ask you is, have you seen like any Zenkai bots? Mm -hmm. And if you're watching this, uh, you know, after the fact to try and learn Mewtwo, good luck. <laughs> He's not the easiest character. And also, um, King Arc also gives really good representation for Mute for um, Mega Man. Yeah, that's really true. And Mega Man, while I think that he is a character that people more traditionally think of as like a really good sort of top tier character, isn't very common just because of how irregular he yeah. is. Yeah. So um, the only uh, Mega Man mains I can think of the top of my head of like the, the highest level would be either Kamehameha and I know Mars recently picked up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like also there's that like Peebnut guy that I think plays Mega Man. I but I, I don't know. I don't know Mega Man mains too well. Oh. Mega Men, Mega People. Um. Um, King Arc's, uh, app is in Utopian Ray. Oh, thanks. Yeah, um, I know but yeah, it's wrong. an interesting sort of neutral that they're, they're putting together right now. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting because in this match, I think they're playing a much, uh, longer distance than they were in the previous matches. Definitely sort of giving themselves oh, the space. Wow. And, wow, an amazing call out on the teleport mm -hmm. with back air. I find it really interesting that King Arc seems to prioritize wall Zenkai's in invincibility, putting that side beat exactly. down yeah, on Exactly, I'm starting him. to notice that a lot too. Yeah, it, it's pretty smart because with the right timing, you can definitely uh, sort of get the other player to spend the invincibility, not necessarily looking for a hit on you, but trying to figure out like, okay, how can I air dodge this in such a way oh, that I wow, won't just get hit? So yeah, wow, that was really impressive. Um, well, strong me. Pretty much an equal game. Um, I think I can easily uh, equalize the uh, percentages. Yeah, definitely. Um, but but so King Arc's definitely keeping him at arm's distance right now, which I think is going to be very key here. Absolutely. And with Mewtwo's weight, uh, Zenkai might not be in danger of being killed yet, but certainly very soon will be. Mm. Which is, is really stressful, especially when you're trying to mount a comeback wow. like Shirley is trying to do right now. The little patience uh, King Arc had at that moment to just not do anything and see what Zenkai is going to do. Very smart. Yeah, really respectful game these two are playing, really feeling each other out, really waiting to you see. You see that? Like, exactly like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because Zenkai just used um, confusion over and over again, and King Arc just waited. Yeah, waited and for the perfect punished. opportunity. Much in a similar way to how you might see someone punish Zelda for neutral being out of disadvantage. A mm -hmm. uh, very similar situation going on. He manages to get the punish on the side beat. 
Uh, so yeah, I mean, very interesting set from those two. Uh, really fun to watch. Uh, really interesting distance in the neutral being played there. Uh, really, it's interesting how well Mewtwo can really go to toe, uh, go toe to toe with uh, Mega Man, who's very much like a heavy projectile zoner at those longer ranges.